What's up, Internet Land? Zachmus Prime, aka Zachmus Prime, here with another Transformers third party review. Today, the figure we're going to be reviewing is the New Age Cyclops. And uh, this is a figure that I've been waiting for for a while because, you know, I had that uh, Iron Factory guy and he was he was all right he was all right and i guess that's that's probably the most generous i could be with that iron factory guy he was all right I'm not gonna say he was great I'm not gonna say he was awful he was all right this guy is great he just looks really good the sculpt on him is really well done the engineering is really well done <laughs> the engineering on him is really uh is really quite genius actually um he's he's got a he's got a backpack that's like it looks it looks better than the official takara one it looks a hell of a lot better than um than like uh, any that i can think of off the top of my head of the uh legend skill ones for sure um i think maybe the uh uh, the Quake Wave, the Fans Toys Quake Wave, I think, had a pretty decent backpack, but, I mean, this may be smaller and more squenched up than that one, too, actually. Actually, the only thing I don't like about this guy is they put light piping in his face, and, uh, I really don't like that, because it doesn't work that well, because, among other things, you know, I'll just use this as my, it doesn't work that well. I don't know if blue light is exactly the best thing to go through. Basically, they've got this whole transparent section that goes all the way from the back to the front, just like light piping do, except that um, there's a ball joint right in the middle of that thing, that, that, that section. And it's blocking all the light that comes in from the back of his head. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. So, I'll be honest with you guys, as soon as I'm done making this review, um, I'm going to go find myself a solution for making that eye not look like garbage, because I don't like that. I don't like that at all. You just can't see. He just, yeah, he, he needs to have a better eye. I wish that they had just put a spot of paint on it. With the way New Age does paint, like, you know, it would have looked good, too. Anyhow, let's talk about his accessories. He comes with uh, an alternate hand that you can just pull off this hand here and slap that guy on there. Only one alternate hand, but now he can do the, like, salute thing, but not really. His, his arm doesn't really go far enough, but you can, you know, put the angle up and it looks pretty good. Looks good. Looks good from the right angle. From the wrong angle, he's just like, whoa, weird salute. From this angle, yeah, it looks spot on. He also comes with a shockwave accessory. Because, of course, he turns into a gun. And that can be held by any of his New Age buddies. Well, at least any of them that have, you know, your regular sized holes here. So, yeah, you can have Megatron doing some shocking and some waving. Just a little purple piece of plastic with uh, a spot of gray paint on the end of it. It's actually sculpted pretty damn well. Or you can have Shockwave holding it as he did in that one episode. Which was probably an animation error of some sort. But, you know... Sure, it makes sense, logically. He also comes with a stand, which is pretty cool. Um, you don't normally get New Age figures coming with stands. Well, except that uh, all the Seekers have lately. So you just take this guy here, stick it on there, and then that bends, and that bends, and that bends. There's a spot down on the back of his backpack, so you can stick him on here. And so he can be flying through space. He can be flying through space. Or he can be like getting the getting the jump on somebody. 
Let's put him into a getting the jump on somebody pose. Yeah, he's getting the jump on somebody, I guess. So it's cool that you've got him with a stand. Um, I do like that. I don't know when I'm going to use it that much because, I mean, since I only have stands for so many of my figures, I don't have them all in flying poses because A, that takes up a ton of more shelf space, and B, it's just kind of silly having robots flying around in their robot mode. Um, that's it for his accessories. Well, he comes with this other accessory, but that's for his gun mode. I'll show you that in a little bit. Actually, let's get to that. Put this back down. Um, he also comes with this little rubber hose in the thing, which I feel his rubber hose is a little, a little long. Um, I've been debating whether or not I want to shorten it up by about maybe... I don't know, half an inch maybe. It fits on really well. It has not come loose in the slightest since I put it on. And I've played with this guy a lot since I put it on. So, um, real quick, since I've got that Megatron right here, I will do a size comparison. So you can see him next to his Lord and Master. Megatron. But yeah, let's get him transformed up. So the first thing we want to do is come around here and undo these flaps from his backpack and just kind of unfold all this out. He stores his barrel in the chest, which is super cool. You may not have even noticed it, but there's the bottom of the barrel sticking out on the underside. Hello, underside focus of that of his chest so that's kind of that's clever it's super clever and it works out really well so with that out then you can take this push down on his head and bring it around to about this point there are little flaps here that you want to pop out you can use a sponger or your fingers if you're Got all the time in the world, or whatnot. Then you take his arms and you fold them up. And there's a little slot right here. You want to stick that arm into that slot, just like so. And then with that in, you want to take the other arm and stick it into that other slot. And then his arms actually tab together. And so make sure that they're seated all the way up. You want to open this up. And then on this on this purple wrist parts, you'll see that there's this little lip here. You want to make sure that this part clips into that lip. And then you just give it a good squeeze and it fits together pretty well. Um, Sometimes, sometimes I feel like I have fitment issues on this. And sometimes I don't, so I'm not sure exactly what the story with that is. Then you want to come down to his feet and you want to open these up. And then this is going to fold out and around, and that'll allow you to fold up his toe. And we'll do the same for the other side. Unpeg that. Pull it out. And around. Fold up his toe. These legs are going to tab together. Then you're going to collapse these down. And then you're going to bring this around. There's a tab here and a slot on this thigh. Put that in put that tab into that slot just like so oh why is it fighting me and then you just plug these together 
and you take this and you turn this and you stick it down in between this legs and there he is in his gun mode and uh, I'll be damned if that doesn't look exactly like a shockwave gun it looks basically perfect I mean everything everything is how it should all be oh one thing I wanted to point out there is a little battery box in here which I have not taken the time to put the batteries in but if I did I could actually make this thing light up and it'll light up in here and then when this goes into the chest as it do it'll actually light up the chest um, if that's the thing, kind of thing that you like so that's cool um, but you know I don't generally do things with batteries on my figures so um, like if it comes to me with batteries in it Sometimes I'll demonstrate it a little bit and then take them out because I don't want corrosion in my figures. But I, gen I, I almost never you know, go out and be proactive about putting batteries in my stuff because I don't really like that. But there you go. And then you can take this guy here. And if you split this section here. You can slide this right into there. And then you can take this, get rid of that because we don't want it no more. And then you can stick a shockwave and have him displayed in his alt mode on a stand. And it's pretty cool, I suppose. Again, not my preferred way of displaying it, but. I do, I do dig it. But yeah, uh, this figure is, it looks great, it feels great, it's got good posability, it's got, you know, this is not a super complicated figure, it just comes with the stuff it needs and really not a whole lot of extras, you know. It's got that stand, I guess you can call that an extra, but he doesn't come with like a crap load of accessories. So it's, you know, it's more simple, but it just, it does everything it needs to do and it does it all so well. But anyhow, that's my review. Thanks everybody for watching. You guys are fantastic. Um, everybody stay awesome and be good to each other. See ya.